Hello everyone, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next topic, which is let's get cold. <laughs> and it's perfect timing since it is super cold outside and I'm really sure that many of you guys really dislike the cold, like me. I am very much the tropical girl who loves the sunshine, but I have to admit there is a huge benefit to being in the cold. And I don't mean just going outside and getting cold, but I'm talking about a habit that I actually do, which is I rinse off in cold water. And a lot of people kind of cringe at the thought of even applying cold water to their skin, but I'm telling you there are definite benefits. And I'm just gonna share five benefits. One of the first benefits is that, you know, especially us women who really love our hair, and I know I'm big into it, but one of the things I learned early on in my life was that cold water apparently closes the cuticles on your hair so it prevents damage but not only that as it closes those follicles it actually keeps all the nutrients in and it helps um, your hair look a lot shinier and healthier and it does this also for your skin and we'll talk a little bit more about that not only that but when you basically submerge yourself in cold whether it's like filling up a tub with cold water and you're holding it in there or whether it's just blasting on the cold after you take a hot shower, it actually releases dopamine and serotonin. So it actually enhances our mood and it also in, um, increases endorphins, which is great, it's very natural. Um, so it makes you feel better when you get out and for some people maybe they're freezing and they don't necessarily like it, but it's actually a really great habit to have because it's a great way to start your day. Um, the third reason is that it actually helps with reducing inflammation and I tell this to all of my clients as a personal trainer and it is to submerge themselves in cold water especially if they've done a really hard workout especially on leg day and that way it helps reduce inflammation and that's another benefit to submerging in cold water is that it can reduce um, the inflammatory effects um, after you've exercised or what we call delayed onset muscle soreness. So it actually prevents that from um, being more uh, intense um, the, you know, two or three days later. The other uh, benefit is that um, it improves circulation. So for many people who may have um, some circulatory issues. When your body is warmed up, you have all this blood flowing through and it goes to the surface of the skin. So with all that oxygen up to the surface of the skin, you actually end up allowing oxygenation for, to happen. And so when you blast that cold, it almost keep, it's as if it keeps it um, closer to the surface of the skin, which is great. Um, and not only that, but it actually promotes better circulation in those core areas that your body um, needs. And so, for example, if you are fighting a cold, you know, shocking the system actually helps improve metabolism, but also improves fighting off um, any of the diseases because you, your body's already circulating um, a lot of uh, the nutrients that it has to fight against um, infections. And that's one way in which your body um, does that. Uh, so I hope that encourages you guys to maybe try the challenge. Let's take a plunge and let's get cold. <laughs> All right. Well, may you live, thrive, and be healthy. Take care, guys. Bye.